Hey, it's uh, Miller618X coming at you today. We're going to do a quick video on how to speed up your old computer. Uh, seeing that I'm on the desktop, I'll start here. Uh, if you're one of those users that has, like, you know, hundreds of icons on your desktop, you got to realize that uh, for each icon on your desktop, it takes up a little bit of RAM on your computer. So it's, it's no big deal to have, you know, a few maybe running off the side, but if you're one of the ones that have it plastered, to get rid of some of those icons would really help you out. Uh, you can also empty in your recycling bin is uh, is a big thing. We can go ahead and do that. And then another thing is is to delete unnecessary files or and stuff like that on your computer. So we can go ahead. We'll click Start All Programs, and you'll want to click on Accessories and then System Tools. And you'll see two two programs here: Disk Cleanup and Disk Fragment. Now another easy way to get there is just to click start and type in disk and you'll see them pop up also. So we'll go ahead and we'll click disk cleanup and what this is going to do is going to scan for uh, temporary files that are left on your computer. Uh, you know, Gaming recycling bin it will empty that for you too and uh, all sorts of other files. So we can go ahead and we can click OK and we're going to delete these files. Now it's OK to delete these files, you're not going to lose anything unnecessary it's just gonna help clean up your hard disk so go ahead and we're done there another thing we can do is we can click start type in CMD and then right click this icon here and we need to run this as administrator for this task so a window may pop up click yes and then type in SFC now what this is going to do is it's going to scan the integrity of all protected system files and replace them with the correct version. So we'll do this, we'll go sfc forward slash scan now and then hit enter. So it may take some time depending on the size of your hard disk. So we're going to let this go ahead and it's going to check and repair files for you. So I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video for now and then I'll come back when it's complete. Okay, so uh, the scan is done. Uh, it seems to be that it did find a few corrupted files, uh, except it was unable to fit that later. But you can see the path here to investigate that. Uh, another thing is down here, you can see the programs that are running. So any unnecessary programs are taking up our memory and stuff like that and slowing down your computer. So you can just usually right click and say exit and you can, uh, you can kill any programs as I killed uTorrent there. Uh, to align all your files, after a while, they, uh, they get put in different parts of the hard drive, and then it's a little slower to read them, as we can click Start and type Disk once again, and we'll click Disk Defragmenter. So we go ahead, and we can click Defragment Disk. Now this will take quite a while, uh, a little longer than the last scan. Uh, you could analyze it earlier, uh, and, and see how how bad your disk is, if it needs to be done, if it doesn't need to be done. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to run multiple passes. And uh, like I said, depending on your hard drive and your computer speed, uh, it will take, a, take quite a while. But uh, I do this on a regular basis. I have it scheduled, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And then I'm just going to close this. Uh, one other thing is, is, is to uninstall programs that are that you aren't using so like I said start control panel and then uh, uninstall programs it's gonna have a list here so you can go through your programs and uh, and select whatever you're not using anymore and get rid of it uh, there is a good program out there called CC cleaner which will also do a lot of this uh, the tasks I've showed you through the program it might make it a, make things a little easier so I'll show you where we can download that so open up uh, your Internet Explorer or Firefox and we'll go uh, CC cleaner and then you can just click download now it's it's not a very big program I think it's around 5 megs so it shouldn't take you any time at all uh, it's a you can pay for it or you can get a 14 day trial so just click uh, just click download on the trial start download and as you can see it's 4.5 megs so we can just go ahead and we'll click save 
save it to the desktop, all I have to open, and bam, it's downloaded that quick. So double click this, click yes, it pops up, and then just walk yourself through the installation. So we can add a desktop shortcut and, uh, and other stuff. So we can click install. I already have it installed, so I won't click install, but you can go ahead and do that. So I'll open up CC Cleaner just to show you uh, what it's like. So I'll click that. You can just click the icon that shows up on your desktop. So we can go through here and we can delete some temporary files, your history, Internet Explorer, cookies, and so on. You can uh, select these and customize it to your likings. And then we can go Analyze. And it's going to scan the system and it's going to tell you how much space these files are taking up, how many files you have, and, and so on. So just give it a couple seconds there and it uh, should complete fairly quickly. As you can see here, it's showing all the stuff. So they're not, it's not a ton of hugely big files, but there's, uh, there's enough of them. I got temp files and stuff like that. And then you can click down here in the bottom right, Run Cleaner. Click OK and it's going to delete these files. Again, these aren't anything, you're not going to lose any important data, this or that, it's just going to be uh, cleaned up. So 100%, you can view the summary results, uh, 542 megabytes have been removed. So, you know, I've gained a significant amount of uh, hard disk space. Uh, same thing here, when you click the registry, sometimes when you're installing and removing files from the registry, it, it leaves files behind, so we can clean that up too. We can go scan for issues, and it's showing see unused file extensions from say maybe a program that I've uninstalled that it's uh, it's left behind. So we'll let that scan through, and then we can uh, we can fix these issues once uh, once that's done here on the bottom right, and we'll clean that up also. All right, so it's done. So we'll just click Fix Selected Issues. And then it says, do you want to make a backup of your registry? Now, your registry is pretty important. If, uh, if you go in there and you mess around yourself, you can damage the operating system. So I would recommend making it a backup. So we'll click Yes. You know, and then we can, we can just uh, we can name the, the file. You can put the date so you know uh, when you did it. So it's the fourth month, 26 day. 2014 and I'll just save it to my desktop. Click Save and then we can go select and we can fix the issues. So it's going to go ahead and it's going to fix the, uh, the registry for us and then that's all cleaned up. So then there's a couple other options you can do. Uh, you can change the settings through it, you know, cookies, um, monitoring. You can uh, you can go on into advanced. You can do a, a couple other things. I'll let you look through that. Uh, tools. If you click tools, here's that uh, same add and remove programs. Like I said, like I showed you before, this program does a lot of it right here for you. Uh, you can change the startup programs uh, for boot time. It will save you on boot time and stuff like that. System restore. You can wipe your drive. I, I wouldn't recommend that. You'll uh, you'll lose everything pretty much. So. We can also uh, choose what programs we want to start uh, when the program when the sorry when the computer boots. Uh, it's normally the programs that load into here. Now, if you have a whole slew of these that load up, it's going to slow down your your boot time. So I'll show you how we can we can pick and choose what we want to start up, what we don't want to start up. So we can click start and type in msconfig and then hit enter and then you'll get this uh, this dialog box here popping up now you're going to want to select uh, selective startup and then uh, so services or sorry startup and then you can go through here I don't know if I can make this bigger no I can't you can go through here and you can select programs that you want to start or not run when you boot up the computer to try to save yourself some time as you can see here, I've, uh, I've unselected quite a few programs just to speed up the boot process. So say I don't want Dropbox to start when I boot up. Okay, fine. So I unclick it, and then you can say Apply, and click OK. Now it's going to require a, a restart to, 
to take into effect, obviously, because uh, it's going to start when you're when you're starting up your computer. So you can say restart, or right now I'm making the video, so I'll restart later. You can also click start, all programs, and then there's a file in here called startup, if I can find it right here. Now you will also have programs in here. I've uh, I've taken the programs out of here too, so they don't start up when my when my computer boots. Uh, one last thing I'm going to go over is uh, we'll click computer again, and we're going to go to system properties. Now a lot of computers these days come with default of a minimum of four gigs. Uh, if you have any less than four gigs, I would recommend buying buying a, a couple sticks for your computer, RAM sticks, and installing those. Uh, you can make sure that your computer supports up to four gigs or over that. If you're trying to go beyond that, you'll have to you have to figure out your hardware and go from there. That will also speed up your computer and uh, and access times and stuff like that. So, all right. Well, I hope these uh, few tips there will help you out, speed up your computer, and uh, it'll be running a little better. Thanks a lot. I'll uh, I'll see you on the next video. Oh, one last thing is uh, if. If none of this is uh, is helping to uh, to speed up your computer, you can also try to reinstall uh, Windows. Uh, there's an option to reinstall Windows with keeping the programs that you have installed and all that, and it will just repair any of the files that uh, might have been damaged or corrupt. Uh, that might also be another option to look into. All right, so that's it. Until next time. Thanks.